South of the Trans-Siberian Railway lies the Central Asian Desert, where vast transformations in the vein of Nawapa are ripe for implementation. The project to revive the Aral Sea, which was proposed back in the 1940s by the Russian engineer Davidov, has been developed further since that time and has recently been reactivated by Presidents Medvedev of Russia and Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan. The Aral Sea has shrunken dramatically since the 1960s and 70s when, for the purposes of water-intensive, Soviet-planned cotton crops, water from the rivers Amu and Sir Daria were diverted in large amounts. The sea has been drying up at an accelerating rate and has led to the destruction of fishery in the region, and a land strip of about 80 to 300 kilometers around the sea has seen a massive retreat of rainfall and the advent of salt storms. The potential solution to this condition lies many kilometers to the north in the Altai Mountains, where, at the border between Russia, Kazakhstan, China, and Mongolia, the rivers Ob and Irtysh originate. The Siberia Aral Canal project comprises of damming these rivers where they flow together towards the Arctic, transferring 8% of the water into a reservoir. The Siberian Canal would be carved southward either directly from the reservoir or, after a partial diversion of the Irtysh, from Tobolsk, the birthplace of physical chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. After pumping the water over a series of constructions over the Turgai Divide in northern Kazakhstan and down into the Aral, the canal would extend almost 2,550 kilometers, and the water will have been lifted a total of 90 meters. Beyond the divide, gravity will lead the water past the cities of Turgai, Irgiz, and Kazalinsk, where it will replenish the Aral Sea with Arctic water. This can also be extended directly to Nukus, where forestry and agriculture have also massively retreated. Not only will agriculture again flourish, as 4.5 million hectares of irrigated land become available for agricultural use in Russia and Eurasia, but fishery will also return to this area. Just as with Nawapa in the United States, this process of greening will further influence the climate and biospheric cycles.